Hey, Jason, can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. All right, great. Uh, Jason, can you kind of walk us through what the Nuggets asked of you today in terms of a workout? Uh, you know, just to compete. Uh, we did a lot of drills that were uh, pretty extensive. You know, they, they, were, they were long drills. You can tell they were trying to, you know, with the altitude, everything, and see who's going to fight and keep pushing through the workout. So just to, just to compete the whole workout. Harrison Wind, DNVR. Hey, Jason, what have you been trying to prove to teams? What are you trying to prove to the, the Nuggets in, in the workout today and just to other teams in the lead up to the draft? Um, you know, that the skills that I have can really translate the next level. Um, you know, the, the spacing that's in the NBA is just, you know, it's a whole different ball game compared to college. So also being able to show off my athleticism. I don't know if a lot of people know how I can jump and move and, and finish around the rim, and grab rebounds. So, you know, just trying to be trying to trying to show everything that I know I can I can do. We'll go back to Mike Singer. Yeah, Jason, to follow up on that, um, you know, what are you working on in this pre-draft process? And I mean, is it getting stronger? Is it working on your shooting handle, whatever it might be? Uh, all three of those you just mentioned is, is exactly what I'm working on. You know, just getting my body better. Uh, obviously, at the next level, I got to get a lot stronger. Uh, shooting more off the dribble, coming off the of ball screens, and you know, also tightening up my handles. <laughs> the, those three things you said is exactly what the main points I've been working on. Go back to Harrison. Uh, Jason, the Nuggets obviously have a guy in Nikola Jokic who, who's super unique, kind of plays at his own pace. Um, have you just watched him at all? How how much did you watch kind of Denver and and how Jokic was kind of able to run this team last year and kind of over the last couple of years? Yeah, it's amazing. I love watching Jokic, and I, I, I watch a lot of Denver basketball as well. Uh, you know, he'll just get the rebound, you know, he'll start, he'll dribble the ball up the court and, you know, and, and he'll set the off, he'll set the offense. So a couple of guys will set bad screens for each other. And if he sees somebody slipping or cheating, he's making the right read. Uh, he, he's, <laughs> he's amazing. Cause like you can throw him in the post and if it's a one-on-one, -on -one, then he'll just score. If you double then it'll pick you apart. So I love how uh, he didn't, no one ever speeds him up. He plays at his pace and he's a very, very smart and, most importantly, unselfish player. He's just, he just he just wants to win. You, know? you can tell he just wants to make the right play every time. Mike Singer. Yeah, Jason, uh, it feels like nobody speeds you up either. Um, you know, who were some of the guys that you kind of emulated, that you looked at as you were coming up as a player to kind of model your game after? Um, I watched every single LeBron James film there is, and obviously, you know, uh, I'm not – his high weight strength or athleticism at all. But, you know, just the different passes he can make out of ball screens, out of the post. Um, he's a great cutter. He's just, he's just great at all facets of basketball. That's something I want to do. Obviously, uh, guys like Chris Paul, you know, you're watching him now, and he's still just playing at his, at the same pace. You know, he's not letting anybody speed up. He's going to get to his mid-range. And uh, those two specifically, I watched every single video possible on them. Harrison Wind. Jason, your story kind of um, not playing a lot early on in high school, po posting your highlights to Twitter, uh, then kind of getting better and better and getting on people's radar, that underdog story, how much um, do you still kind of lean on that? And how much does that stuff still motivate you right now? Well, you know, it means everything. Uh, you know, coming from the path that I came, you know, it really humbles you and makes you appreciate everything more. So just to even be here today and being able to work out with all these NBA teams, it's just a blessing. It's a dream come true. And I'm never going to take any of this for granted. Mike Singer. Hey, Jason, in a similar uh, vein, how have you processed kind of how fast everything has happened, um, you know, from, from your NCAA tournament upset and just you know, now doing pre-draft workouts? working out for NBA teams in the draft in a couple of weeks. Has any of it slowed down for you? Or is it just a whirlwind? Um, it, it has kind of moved fast, but I mean, this is something I've been planning since I was in, since I was in prep school since a long time ago. So I, 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 I assumed this day would come one day and you know, it's here. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to make the most of it. Take every day how it is, you know, uh, win the day every single day. And that's all I got to uh, stay focused on. All right.
right, it looks like we're all set. Thank you, Jason. Thank you. Appreciate it, sir.